Hey, what's going on everyone? Garrett here from Code the Web. And uh, in the last video, we took a look at creating a ghost button that's right here. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take this space kind of up here, and we're going to magically transform it into a background video that this bit of text right here, our H1, and uh, this ghost button will kind of sit on top of and add a new element to our website. So uh, let's uh, start performing some magic. All right, so this is how you guys remember it last. Um, I haven't changed anything. Again, the footer was taken away in the last video, but that's pretty much it. That's all we really changed. And then this ghost button here. I did mention, however, that we were going to change the color. And later on in this video, we will do that because this color ends up being just way too dark for the video that I've created, which, little disclaimer, um, I don't have like crazy camera or anything. So the video that I created was kind of just like me messing around on my screen here it is yeah that that's that's the video that we're going to be using and um so so yeah so it'll look kind of weird if you guys go and do this yourselves um one way to do that is to do that or just to use you know if you have a webcam or something just record yourself doing something silly and then just use that video um the only thing you're going to need other than that is a, uh, a video converter and the one that I have for Mac is called any video converter light you just look up video converter in the App Store and it'll come up it's really really simple uh, all you do is drag and drop the video into there like that you click over here and choose what kind of format you want to do these are my most recent and these are the three formats that you will need which I'll go into in a bit um, and you just go through here and uh, you know find them um, just so you guys know because you probably won't have this most recent one the ones that you guys want are right here this um, this one where to go the mp4 and then a little bit down you want the OG no wait not that one um, no yeah yeah this one the OGV and the other one is somewhere oh it's right above the mp4 it's web M video so once you guys have that, I've already done it over here, um, and I've actually also put it into Coda. It's already on my uh, on my website via FTP. Uh, since my video was extremely short, and I mean like eight seconds max, it really didn't take that long at all. However, it is important to remember that if you guys are using videos that are longer or have a lot of crazy stuff going in, or maybe the resolutions like 4K or something crazy like that. Uh, it probably will not only take a long time, but it might also take a lot of space, and that means that um, when you load the website, it'll take a long time to load, and it'll also potentially um, not play back all that well. But, uh, all that said, let's start uh, coding or performing magic tricks or whatever. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come on up with a video tag, and this, I believe, is new to HTML5, so video uh, class, it's just going to be hero, hero spelled the right way, not the wrong way, and uh, that'll be it for now, and then we'll end it, and then inside of here, with all the fun begins, we're going to have a source tag, and then the source of the source tag will be... Uh, this our first one which is going to be HTTP colon uh, slash slash or backslash backslash um, it's I code the web dot com slash projects and you guys can feel free to use this these videos as well um, slash projects slash background dot mp4 and then we're going to add a type, and the type is going to be video slash uh, mp4. And then that. And then we're just going to copy and paste this three more times because saving time is great. Whoops. Um, and then we're going to come over here. We're going to make these the right uh, ending. So this one's going to be OGV. And this one's going to be WebM. And then likewise, over here in the type is going to be video slash O, G, and a V. And then this is going to be web M. Okay, so now let's refresh the page. Let's see what we got. So we actually do have it right there. 
Uh, it doesn't play, which is great. But that's fine. We actually didn't tell it to play. But first, um, let's go make this kind of look nice, and then we'll make it play afterwards. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come into the CSS, and we're going to um, make a new like line kind of thing here. We're going to go video dot hero for the class open it up and uh, we're gonna say uh, width width it's gonna be 100 percent and height is gonna be uh, 100 percent as well so now it's kind of the right size okay so that's good um, we are also actually going to uh, remove, do I want to remove this? We can try removing this. Let's see what happens when we do that. Um, and we also don't need a background color to be completely honest. Uh, and then we actually don't need this really either. Um, so let's just see where that gets us. All right, cool. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a margin top to the uh, div hero of um, say like 200 pixels okay now what we're gonna do is in this hero we're gonna say top negative negative uh, 500 pixels awesome it didn't work Oh, I think this one might need to be absolute. Yes. All right, cool. Um, and then we're actually going to, uh, let's try making the height and the width something. So we'll just say 100% uh, percent for the height. No, sorry, for the width. Actually, we'll keep that for the height, sorry. And then for the width, we're also going to do 100%. And the reason that we needed to do that was because this can't be centered if there's nothing for it to be centered in. And if you take a look here, you will see that it's clearly not centered vertically. And that's because I think this is how you do it. Um, it's not how you do it. That's awesome. Um, the reason that it's not is because... Because, because, because... Wait, what if this is set back to relative? I don't think that did what we wanted to do at all. Margin top. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know why. So that's why. Because what happened was we had said margin top so that this thing actually was centered, but it was being pushed down 200 pixels regardless of where it's centered is. So it's a little hard to see, but it is right there. And actually at this time, let's take the glorious opportunity to change the color to not that, but a nice yellow like I said we were going to do. And um, probably won't be the greatest color. Um, I actually did try a bunch of different colors. Um, and by the way... We're changing three different things. We're changing, actually, we're changing four different things. Just kidding. We're changing three different things. We're changing the color to this, which is going to be the color of the text. Um, and then we're going to change the border color. And then when it hovers, we're going to change the background color to that same yellow. And also what we need to add here is um, an h1 dot, what was it, dot hero. Right, no, h1 dot title right there. We have to add an h1 dot title and we're going to just make the color the same color as everything else refresh the page and then we have a nice yellow there again it's not the greatest color the reason that it's not the greatest color is because you have if it was just dark stuff like it is in this image area right here it'd be a great color the problem is that over here as you can tell we have a lot of whites, a lot of lights, and they're also kind of overlapped or mixed in with a lot of darks in the text areas. So that's why it's not the greatest color in the world. However, um, it's, it's okay. All right. It's all right. I believe now the only thing left for us to do is to make this 
uh, play. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to come back to our HTML and we're going to go to this the video tag thing, right? Uh, and we are going to say autoplay. And if we go here, it will autoplay. Like so. However, once it's done, I don't think it uh, continues to do it again. So what we can do is we can say, first off, we want it to be muted. We want this to loop, so we want it to keep on playing over and over again. So what we're going to do is just type in loop, hit save. So we have autoplay, it's going to be muted so there's no sound, and it's going to loop. So let's try this. So it starts. And it starts over. It does indeed autoplay. And then you can just scroll down and you have the rest of uh, of this. So that's that. And then you still have these buttons that are inside of there. I do apologize that the picture kind of makes it hard for this awesome orange text or yellow text to show. My apologies. But it's not the end of the world. And if you guys have some awesome, cool pictures that you want to do, some nature stuff is really cool. If you guys remember the image that we used for the computer, uh, the uh, website from start to finish series that we did a while back now actually um, that picture would probably work very very well here but anyway uh, that is how you make video the background and whatnot and uh, if you ask me it looks pretty awesome so in the next video um, it depends I'm not I don't remember exactly what's next uh, in the lineup but it'll be something down here uh, we can even add that sticky thing for like widget one or something that we did um, in the last video. And actually, well, we can add one more thing here to make it because there was that um, right here above this. There was a margin of 50 pixels, and that's obviously not there anymore. So we can add that again and say margin bottom 50 pixels. I hope this works. It didn't. Nice. That's cool. Um, so we'll just take that. And we'll say this. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, cool. So that worked. Now we're back to where we were pretty much before. The only difference is we have an awesome video as the background now. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Garrett. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Garrett from Code the Web. Thank you for watching this video. It does mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. The button's right down there. If you want to watch the video that came right before this, click right up there. And uh, if you want to watch a video that's going to come after this, click right there. Um, well, you actually won't be able to click there now because it's not there because I haven't put the video up yet. Wait another week. But once it is there, then you'll be able to click on it if you're watching this video in the future. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and again, click that button down there to subscribe, to subscribe so that you'll be able to get all of my amazing videos about web design and cool internet things like that.